All right, with just eight days until voters decide the next Virginia governor, President Biden is going to hit the trail for Democrat Terry McAuliffe tomorrow, joining the ranks of former President Obama and Stacey Abrams over the weekend and Dave Matthews. But with the race in a dead heat, Republican Glenn Youngkin presses on with a bus tour. As you can see, according to Monmouth, they are tied right now. Here's reaction as former Virginia GOP gubernatorial candidate and former Virginia AG Ken Cuccinelli. Ken, good morning to you. Good morning. So I'm confused. You know, it was just a couple of weeks ago where uh, the White House said, you know, um, Joe Biden is not very popular in Virginia, so we're not yeah. going to be campaigning for him. And now he's got right after the Monmouth poll came out, suddenly they, they get on the horn. Hey, can Joe come across the river? He's going to go across the river tomorrow. Clearly, they're panicking at McAuliffe, Inc., yeah, there's no question. I mean, Joe Biden hasn't gotten any more popular since the observation was made by Terry McAuliffe that he's very unpopular. And that's based on performance. And people are seeing a real difference there. And it's reflected in the race. I mean, unlike the last time Terry ran, when I ran against him, we had a two-point race. But he didn't have a record. Now he has a record. And it's not a good record. Glenn Youngkin has a positive business record. He's, he's talking about issues that matter big time to people in Virginia, like education sure. and big differences there. And crime is now uh, resurfaced as an issue this year because of the Democrats' utter, not only failure, but their disdain for the people who are keeping us safe. And that just doesn't comport with the average Virginia family, the average Virginia voter. I was reading there in Virginia, now apparently Terry McAuliffe has decided to go ahead and go after Glenn Youngkin on education and is saying that his plan will cut like 40,000 teachers or something like that. That is just, in fact, they're, they're just trying to spin their way out of the hole they dug themselves in yeah. after Terry McAuliffe said parents have no business uh, taking a look at the kids' curriculum. <laughs> right. Right. Well, the first rule of holes, right? Stop <laughs> digging when you're in one. And Terry McAuliffe is violating that rule. His, his little shtick on teachers has been long dis disproved by the left-wing fact checkers so uh, I mean this is a pretty desperate gambit and you name people who've come into Virginia for Terry McAuliffe nobody's had to come in for Glenn Youngkin and by the way former governor Doug Wilder right. I think really put the capper on a lot of this as he is wont to do when he pointed out the Democrat ticket hasn't given uh, black voters a reason to come vote for them, while the mm -hmm. Republican ticket led by Glenn Youngkin has laid out a positive agenda from uh, Doug Wilder's right. perspective. That's a very positive thing. And look, I've won and I've lost statewide in Virginia, and right now, Virginia feels like winning for Glenn Youngkin, Winsome Sears, and Jason Miares. I think this is going to be a Republican sweep. That's what it feels like right now. And I don't see anything changing, certainly not the arrival of Joe Biden on this side of the Potomac, uh, to, uh, to change that direction. Well, one of the things that would seem to indicate you could be right is uh, one of the polls that came out last week showed that independents and with Republicans, the the enthusiasm, yeah. it, sorry, it was just with Republicans, the enthusiasm level for Glenn Youngkin was through the roof compared to for yeah. Terry McAuliffe oh, with Democrats. Yes. Off the charts. Off the charts. Off the charts. And, that, and that's not a surprise. I benefited from that in 2009 when I ran for attorney general the first year of the Obama administration and uh, ended up with 58 percent of the vote. So uh, I think that's the kind of tailwind they've got right now, coupled with education issues and crime issues. Glenn Youngkin is going to win this race if everybody keeps doing their job. All right. Ken Cuccinelli with the prediction. Youngkin on top next Tuesday. Sir, thank you very much. Good to be with you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.